Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is a how-to video on how to create a report from your Idacio app with your students. Going into your tabs, you want to click on the first tab you're going to get your report from. For me, it's my effort tab. Now I, I have attendance here as my first one. I do not need to go in and put in everything for attendance. There's one button I need to check at the end and it'll do it for me. So I'm going to go to my effort tab. In my effort tab, I'm going to click on my first student. You only have to do this with your first student in each tab. It will do it for the rest of the students as you go through. So I click on Car Chris Carhart and I click edit. Once I click edit on the bottom right hand on the bottom it says data, annotations, attendance, and summary. We're going to press the summary button. From the summary button it says to create your summary. Tap on the gear icon and add columns from the current page. You can add columns from different tabs by selecting a different tab before opening this sheet. So I'm going to click on the gear. From the gear and I see add column. I'm going to click add column. From Add Column, it shows me all the things I have as an outcome or what I'm grading upon in this tab. If I want to select every single thing at the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to press All, and it's going to select All. If I don't want certain things, I can deselect each individual thing or select just individual ones. But I want everything. I want to create a full report, so I click All, press Done. Has it here? Showing everything now. I'm going to press done. I'm going to go to the next one, standard one. Standard one, again, going to Chris Carhart. Only have to go to my first student. I go to my gear at the top, and you'll notice effort's already there, so it stays there. Click add column. has everything in standard one. Press all to select all of them. Press done. Now I have effort and everything for standard one. Press done. Go down to standard two. Do the same thing. Press on little Chris Carhart. Edit. I'm going to go to my, my gear. Add column. All, because I want everything in. Press done. I have effort, standard one, and standard two now. Now, I have not done anything for Nick Chapler or anybody else yet, so I'm going to press and hold Nick Chapler to show you that it is doing it for him at the same time. It's showing his effort grades, his standard one, and his standard two. When you do one student, it does it for all the students. So we're going to go down to standard three now. It's what's next. Holding down Chris Carhart because he's the first student. Effort, standard one, standard two. Now we need standard three, so click on my gear. Add column. I'm going to select all of these. Done and done. Standard four. Press and hold Chris Carhart. Now you'll notice that some things are not assessed on. That's okay. You can still do this. Press and hold gear. Add column. Select all and done. Now I have effort. Standard one. Standard two. Standard three. Standard four. Press done. Now I'm going to go to Chris Schrader. Press and hold her. Edit. Okay. Again, for her summary. I have effort, standard one, standard two, and three, and four. Remember, when you do it for the first one, it does it for every individual student. So how do I get this information out? Well, there's a couple of options. Press and hold, press and hold, press edit, and go to my summary page. In the summary page, next to the gear, to the right, is our little upload button that you see on iOS devices. Press and hold that. Now here's where I can add the attendance in. So I'm going to add in summary and attendance. You can do attendance only abnormal. Ab 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 Anomalies, that's the days they're absent. I like having every attendance in there, so I click on that one. If there's annotations, click on it because it will add it in as well. And if there, you have any resources, meaning videos or pictures as well, and this, the photo of your student. When I press OK, it's going to ask do I want to email to a student, to parents, or both, or do I want to open in? Now, a lot of our parents don't have email, so I'm going to open in. And you can put it in Google Drive or Dropbox. I'm putting mine in Dropbox, and again, this is Chris Carhartt's. So I open it under File. I'm going to change the name to Chris I have it in the folder I want. I press Save. I already have one in here, so I'm going to press Replace. When I go through Replace, it's going to go through. Now it's going to say Chris Carhartt.pdf. When I open it up, this is what it looks like. It has his picture with his name and what class he's in. It has all of his effort grades. It has a standard one grades. It has standard two grades, standard three, standard four, and the attendance grades. Now here is the only downfall for it. It doesn't say what a green smiley face is. It doesn't say what a dark green smiley face is, orange or red or yellow. So you'll have to create a key to print off if you're using my templates, if you're using my icons. 
and just knowing that a dark green smiley face is advanced, a 4, a green smiley face is a 3, proficient, an orange smiley face is 2, partially proficient, a red smiley face is a 1, unsatisfactory, and a yellow smiley face is no grade. It doesn't calculate into their grade. It's just saying that they're absent for the day. So to give you an example of the annotations, I look right here at dribble, dribble. Hockey uses both sides of the blade. Notes uses only one side of the blade when dribbling. That's why he was rated partially proficient during that skill. And I'd have to go in and do each individual kid. There is not a way right now with the way Adasio is set up to create all these reports and do a student report and it gives you all of them back to back individually instead of having to go in each individual report. I have at requested for Adasio to have that in for their next update. Um, I'm a beta tester so I get to add, give some feedback and they, I get to uh, say what I don't like and I do like. It's kind of cool the uh, way we can have a voice in what we'd like to see in Adasio. So this is how you create a spreadsheet, a, a, a supplemental report card that you can send home to your students with the Adasio app. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section or you can email me in D. Spencer, S-P-E-N-C-E-R, at Aurora, A-U-R-O-R-A-K-1-2 dot org. Have a wonderful night.